In today's Artrageous Art Lesson, we get to learn all about a technique in art or a type of art called printmaking. Believe it or not, you've probably done printmaking before. If you've ever used a stamp or a hand stamp or made a stamp, then you've, you've already done this style of art. There's various different ways of doing printmaking and there's lots of different techniques and supplies that you can use. Printmaking is the process of transferring an original image from one prepared surface to another. So lots of artists have used printmaking throughout different, different periods of time. Today, our print is going to be a picture of an owl. So we get to look at the book called Owl Babies, and there's a really great book called Owl Moon that we can look at as well. We want to make sure that we know how to use the elements of art to make our printmaking project the best it can be. So the first element of art that we're going to use is lines and shapes to draw our owls. Now we're first going to be drawing our owl on a small piece of white paper with pencil. So this paper is very small and you want to make sure that you draw really big. So an owl is a type of bird and they kind of have pointy ears at the top and they have a curved round body kind of like this. Now all birds have eyes and a beak and feathers and owls have especially big eyes because they can see at night. They're usually nocturnal which means they hunt at night. So I'm going to draw my owl's eyes really big, a beak, and then I'm going to draw two curved lines inside of the owl's body for the wings. Now, birds have feathers. So I can draw feathers by drawing kind of like a little letter U shape. And then you can add any other details or texture that you want. So I'm adding just some curve lines on the body. I'm going to add some lines on the ears. And then I'm going to add, they don't really have feet, they kind of have little claws at the bottom. And I'll make mine a girl, so I'm going to add eyelashes. Now, once you're finished drawing your owl with pencil, then we're going to be making our print using a piece of styrofoam. Styrofoam is a type of material that's kind of soft and it's kind of cushiony. And what you can do is put your styrofoam under your paper and then I like to tape it or staple it. Piece of tape is because you don't want your paper to move when you're tracing it. Now I'm going to use just a regular pencil and I'm just going to trace over my lines and I'm going to push down on that pencil kind of hard. Okay, now, oh, I forgot the eye. Now, when I lift up my paper, I don't need this anymore. You could actually take it home if you want, or you can recycle it. But now, on the styrofoam, can you see where the lines were kind of carved into the styrofoam? So if I rub my finger over it, I can feel the texture. Texture in art is an element that shows how something feels. Now I want to take my pencil, and I'm actually carving into the styrofoam and I'm making the lines darker and I'm pressing down on the styrofoam. So I'm carving all those lines in to my piece of styrofoam. The more lines that you carve or the more texture you have on your stamp, the better it's going to look. So this is actually going to be the stamp that we're going to use and in the book Owl Babies there are actually three baby owls but we just have to draw one baby owl and then we can make three copies of it since this is going to be a stamp. So we're going to be using a principle of art called repetition because we're going to be repeating this owl three times or making three copies of it. All right, so now I have my lines all nice and dark. Might want to add some more feathers. Okay, so now I am ready to start adding the ink. In printmaking, you actually use ink 
to make your print. This is called block printing ink and this is black. It comes in different colors but we're going to use black and it's very thick and sticky and messy so I like to lay down newspaper. Now I take my ink and I put it on a tray. This is a styrofoam tray and once I put it onto the styrofoam tray then the next thing I need is something called a brayer. Now a brayer is like kind of like a roller and this is what you use to roll on the ink. So I'm going to take my brayer and I'm going to rub it back and forth until it's covered with ink. And it looks like it's not all the way covered. See I missed a spot. So you want to keep rolling it and rolling it because you don't want to have too much ink but if you don't have enough ink then your owl isn't going to show up. So I'm rolling it. Now it's nice and covered. Now I'm going to take my owl and hold it down with one finger and I'm going to lightly roll the ink over top of my picture. And you can see it turns everything black except for the lines that I drew with my pencil. Now that I've done that, I need to get a piece of paper. I'm going to use a white piece of paper and write my name on it and your code. And you're going to take the white piece of paper and you're going to start in the corner of the paper and lay it right on top of your owl. Now I take my hand and I rub on the paper. And remember we're going to make three copies. So after I rub on it, I'm going to peel the paper off. Oh, I think I got two pieces of paper on accident. I'm going to peel it off and look at that. Isn't that nice? I made a stamp of my owl. Now I want to make two more stamps, but I need to put some more ink on my owl. So I'm going to get some more ink. I'm going to roll it over again. And then I'm going to lay it right here in this space. So I laid the paper down gently. Now I'm rubbing on it and I'm going to lift it up slowly. Now I have two owls, the same owl repeated twice. Now I'm going to do that one more time. Put some more ink on your owl. Then I'm going to lay the paper down at the bottom and rub on it. Wow, now look at that. Actually, I have four owls, my styrofoam and my three prints. Now, while those are drying, I'm going to put those on the drying rack. And I'm going to get another piece of paper and use this for the background. I want to make a collage where I have the owls sitting on a tree branch at nighttime. So I'm going to draw a wavy line for the branch. And then, I, ooh, I'm going to draw the full moon behind the branch. So I'm going to draw a big circle and write my name on it. And then I'm going to use paint to paint the branch brown. And the sky is going to be dark blue. And I can actually make a light blue and a dark blue to make it look more real. The moon is going to stay white, of course. So I'm going to get my cup of water, a small paintbrush, and my paint. The paints that I'm using are called tempera cakes and I can see I have blue, brown, white and lots of other colors. So I'm going to start with the blue. Now that's a dark blue but if I mix it with white I can make a really light blue to paint around the moon first. So here's my cup of water. I want to make sure I have a small paintbrush and a medium sized paintbrush. So I'm going to take the, the paintbrush. Ooh, it looks like my paintbrush is dirty. So if it's dirty, sometimes you need to clean off the paints with a paper towel. But I'm going to mix it with the blue, and that's going to make a light blue. And that light blue, I'm going to paint around the moon first. So I'm just painting it all the way around the moon. I'm going to use the bigger paintbrush. 
and you can paint right over top of the tree branch because that's going to be brown. So now once I'm finished painting with the light blue, you have to keep adding water around the full moon. Now I'm going to use the dark blue. So I'm not going to mix white, I'm just going to use the dark blue. So you want to make sure you lay down newspaper. It looks like I need to add some more water. So I'm going to stir up some more water. Looks like I covered up some of my light blue, so I'm going to add some light blue. Okay, so now I have light blue, which is a tint, and I have dark blue. Now I'm going to wash out my paintbrush, and I'm going to paint the tree branch using brown. So I'm going to stir it up. You got to keep mixing it until the paint it turns into paint. And then I'm going to paint this tree branch. I want to lift up my newspaper. And I want to paint all the way across a wavy line that goes all the way across my paper. And that's going to be the tree branch. Now if I want, I could even rinse out my paintbrush again and use the small paintbrush and paint some green leaves if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but I think that would look pretty neat. So I'm going to put some green leaves on my tree. And now I can wash out my paintbrushes and I'm ready to start cutting out my owls. So I'm going to use some scissors. And if your owls are dry, you can cut around your owls, just like I am. And then we can glue them onto the tree. I might want to only put two owls. Unless you want to put three. I could put one over here. I don't want to cover up all the moon. Maybe this owl can be sitting behind that owl. Now I'm going to glue them onto my paper, write my name on it, throw away my trash or my recycling, and then I can wash my hands because they got really messy. Printmaking can be really messy. But you can see the, the prints turn out so cute and we can let them dry and then hang them up in the hallway or take a picture of them and put them on Artsonia. So good luck making your prints and I hope they turn out awesome.